Hi there, my dear friends. It's Michel here from Rapper. Rapper takes care of the most technical details in the pattern making process. One step where you'll want to get into the itty bitty details is in exporting your patterns. Knowing how the export option works will make sure you'll get the best possible results however you are planning to use your patterns. In this video, I'll show you how to use all the export options. Explain the difference between surface and tile exports and share some general tips and tricks. Let's go! Before we jump into the exporting, here is a side note. Making great patterns starts with high quality source images. Picking your tiling and considering your sample size. You can find a link to a blog post about exactly that in the video description down below. There are three ways to export your design. As a tile, a surface or a 3D preview. The difference between tile and surface. You may wonder when to export as a tile or a surface. Let's look at each of them individually. A surface pattern is how you view your patterns in wrapper most of the time. As a pattern that is repeated over a larger area. In the export settings you can make this surface any size and repeat the pattern as little or as much as you wish. If you know exactly how you'll be using your pattern, for example, printing on fabric as a fat quarter at 150 dpi, surface exports get you what you need in one go. Note that the surface itself is usually not repeatable. Later in this video I'll explain how to make a surface repeatable, in case you have a need for that. When you switch to tile view, you will see your pattern as a single repeatable tile. Exporting your pattern as a tile gives you the full flexibility later on to repeat your pattern at any size. For example as a background in a graphic software like Photoshop. Many online printing services like Spoonflower or Zazzle also let you upload a single tile and repeat it making upload quicker and most importantly giving you more design flexibility at this stage. Certain effects do not work for tiles because otherwise they wouldn't be repeatable. They are the ones listed under surface effects. In addition, note that the penrose and diamond penrose tilings are not repeatable so you cannot export those as tiles. When exporting as a single tile, you'll usually want to stick to the default maximum option. Wrapper will automatically calculate the largest possible tile given your source image, providing you maximum flexibility when using it in other graphic software or production services. If you need your tile at a specific size for some reason, choose custom and set your size in either pixels or physical units. By default, the pattern surface exports exactly as shown in the app, filling the preview area. To export your pattern surface at a specific size, choose custom. By default, the export size is set in pixels. In this case, the DPI setting will not affect the resolution of your image. If you are going to print your pattern and know at which size and DPI you'll need it, you may wish to switch to a physical unit like inches. In that case, Wrapper will automatically calculate the pixel size of your surface based on the physical size and DPI you set. For example, exporting a 10x10 10 10 inch pattern at 300 DPI will give you a 3000 by 3000 pixel image. I have included a link to our blog series about DPI in the video description down below. Before you export, make sure to adjust the repeats to achieve the desired look of your pattern on the surface. Note that most of the time, a surface is not repeatable. How do you know? It's easy to tell by looking at the repeat count. If the horizontal or vertical repeat is not a whole number, it will not be seamless. Of course, this is totally fine if the pattern surface is the end result you will be using digitally or in print. What if you want your surface to be repeatable? In most cases, you'll probably be better off exporting as a tile, which is the most compact size to keep your pattern repeatable after exporting. But is there a way to make your pattern surface repeatable? For sure! 
Click the lock button next to the repeats to unlock. Now you can set exactly the horizontal and vertical repeat count you wish. If you use whole numbers, your pattern surface will be repeatable, just like a single tile. The same constraints as for tile exports apply here. Some tilings and effects aren't tileable by design. Wrapper offers the possibility to work with vector files, making your patterns fully scale independent. The export options are the same, though the size will not have an impact on the detail of your image. Keep in mind, what goes in, comes out. Only vector images can be exported as a vector pattern. 3D previews are handy for seeing your patterns in context while designing, but they can also be exported. They make for great promotional materials. The maximum resolution is 2000 by 2000 pixels. Tip! If you export as a PNG image, the pattern product will be on a transparent background, allowing you to place it in any context using other graphic software. Did you notice the smart backdrop feature? This can be used to add beautiful backgrounds to your 3D previews. See our quick tip video about the smart backdrop. While exporting, keep an eye out for upscaling warnings. When you see a warning, it will provide you with handy one-click solutions. You can keep your export size, but increase the repeats. Or you can keep the repeat count, but reduce the resolution. Of course, you can always choose to leave it as it is and accept that the source image will be upscaled. A little upscaling is not necessarily a problem, but try to keep the upscaling below 10 or 20%. Here's a final tip. There is an option to export all your snapshots at once. This works especially well if you are exporting all tiles at the maximum size. It will export each tile at its own ideal size. If you export all snapshots at once as surfaces, they will all be exported at exactly the same size and repeat count as you see in the export settings. This may or may not be what you are looking for, depending on the variation in your snapshots. If you want full control over your surface design, it is better to export them one by one. A heads up! Exporting all snapshots at once demands a lot from your computer especially if you are exporting lots of snapshots at high resolutions. It can require gigabytes of internal memory. We cannot predict in advance if a batch export will succeed or fail, as it also depends on the capabilities of your hardware and browser. If it fails, you will see an error. In this case, you can either export one by one, or you split your collection in two smaller batches. For instructions on how to do that, see our video how to manage your pattern collections. We hope these tips will help you to export beautiful, high quality patterns with Wrapper. Do you still require some help? You can reach out to us at support at Wrapper.app where Wouter and I are personally responding to all of your questions. Did you enjoy this video? Try it yourself at Wrapper.app. We would really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, smash the little bell icon and leave a message in the comment section down below. Happy patterning my dear friend and I wish you a lovely day.